We're out here on the weather deck. So, of course, we have the big Super Bowl game on Sunday. And if you don't care about who wins, you've always got the food and the commercials, right? <laughs> and friends. And, and friends. friends. And camaraderie. It's a good time for a party. Chef Bob from Morton's. How are you, my friend? Great. Just uh, out here, what everyone does at 9 o'clock in the morning on Friday, <laughs> making bison chili. Well, here's the thing. It should be a nice weekend. I mean, if you want to get that grill into a sunny spot, you can grill outside. What are you cooking up this morning? Uh, today we're doing some bison chili. Um, which you can cook on the stove top. Well, you, you can cook on the stove top. To no, I, I mean, I would do it on the stove top. But For sure. you guys have, have us out here on a beautiful day. <laughs> um, Our studio is under construction, yeah, so that's yeah. why we're out here. So what do you got going? Obviously some bison. I, I got the bison chili. Uh, I like to use the big chunks of uh, bison. We're using bison. It's nice and lean. Gives it a little bit different flavor, yeah. you know. Um, but instead of using the ground beef or something like that, and it's really easy. We're just gonna sear that beef. I have some uh, some bacon in here. Okay. We have a beautiful bacon oh, wow. steak I put in there too. Oh, Give bacon it a little steak! Extra flavor. This and is it, much better than the finger uh, foods, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. And, and the big meatballs and uh, our, the meatball sub I put together. Oh, I um, love that it. would be good for maybe one of my friends. So sometimes you got to make a little more than you think. So, or you got to get new friends uh, that don't eat so much. So yeah, just get up early, get this bison rolling, um, and then we're just gonna add all our ingredients right in the pot some and onions the nice thing about chili i'm sure you would agree even as a chef you can put whatever you want you can put there. whatever you want in there yeah you can do it hot it's hard you can to do mess it up a little sweet tomatoes. what's in the other pot the, the finished bison chili for you to oh, eat oh, after oh, 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 oh god i got it i got it i'm sorry the <laughs> no, before and the after <laughs> some chilies we're going to put right in there green chilies got it some now, jalapenos can you cook the bison the same way as typical meat Oh yes, Just the yeah. Ground beef. Yep, certainly could. You could put it. You could get some nice uh, bison steaks, um, throw them on the grill. A lot of people like that these days. It's nice and lean. You know, it doesn't yeah. have a lot of fat. Yeah. Um, and this, we're gonna do a little beef stock in here as well. What's your secret ingredient for your chili? Do you have one? I, I do actually. You're not gonna tell us? No, I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> it's not that much of a secret. It's okay. Well, um, everyone seems to have like their special ingredient. For a thickener, we use this uh, the masharina, the you know you make uh, tortillas and things like yeah. that out of it, and it's used as a thickener, okay. Um, okay. like kind of like tortilla soup where you get that you know yeah. that corn flavor in there, and it'll also thicken it up nicely uh, once it cooks. Um, so you have that nice, slightly corn earthy flavor in there um, and it'll Kinda thicken like it up nicely. Starch, right? Yeah, yeah, very similar. Do you think similar. bison makes for a heartier chili? Um, yeah, I like, well, anything with the big chunks in there. Right? <laughs> you can use the beef if you want. Uh, if you want big chunks, you could have one of our steaks down at Morton's totally. Steakhouse. And you guys are open this uh, weekend? This we Sunday? are open this weekend, yep. Um, it should be it should be a good time. Uh, we have a lot of the big TVs up there and all that. Awesome. Uh, oh, I forgot. Beer. You gotta put a little beer. It's Super Bowl Sunday, right? <laughs> That's the you gotta put You gotta put a little beer in there as well. You got local It'll give Colorado a sweetness. Upslope, yep, I love up, it. Local Colorado Upslope, you know it. Um, we're featuring a lot of local uh, breweries and uh, a lot of purveyors. Uh, we got our bacon from uh, Tender Belly, which is a local oh, yeah, pork company. Oh yeah, of course, yep. uh, we, Boulder, right? Yeah, we use Rebel Farms, uh, which we get a lot of our um, produce from. We got a lot of fresh greens and things like that. She does a great job. Well, we gotta go. Here, uh, hold the mic, Megan. All you have right. a fork? I need you gonna to dig eat. in? <laughs> <laughs> you have to use this. <laughs> no problem. Done and done. <laughs> Jeff Bob from Morton's. Here. Thank you so much Thank for you. coming in. Have a great day. Appreciate your bear in the cold weather for this. Oh, it's quite nice out. This giant spoon. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I wish we had a camera on this right now. <laughs> <It's> too bad. <laughs> All right, let's get into meteorologist Greg Dutra. Oh. Hey, Greg, by the way, I don't think we've asked you yet. Who do you think's gonna win?